back to school is just around the corner for many students, and it can be a stressful time for kids and for parents as well. Joining me this morning with some tips to help make it easier on everyone is Judy Arnell with Professional Parenting Canada, and thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. So you have five children. I do. <laughs> and so this is not new, any of this to you. I have a five-year-old stepdaughter, so she's going into grade one. Oh, nice. How should you be transitioning kids into this, into school? Okay, well, you want to help them out physically and emotionally. So let's talk emotionally. Um, it can be a stressful time. So schools are usually open a few days before school starts. So if it's a new school, like um, different from kindergarten, you might want to tour the school a bit when there's no crowds. Um, you might want to get her set up with some play dates of friends that might be going or new people, new children that she can um, stay with the first day. And just to prepare her, let her know where the washrooms are, what the day is going to look like, that kind of thing, just to soothe her anxieties. Okay. Now, you hear a lot of times in the summer, oh, it's the summer, just let them stay up later, have fun. Should we be getting them back on the schedule? Well, that's the physical part is um, it helps to kind of, Mother Nature's with us, the nights are getting darker, so if you can do it in little baby steps, like get them to bed about 15 minutes earlier each night. But having said that, it's never worked for my kids. <laughs> We're super tired the first week and yeah. we, we survive. Um, you don't want to get haircuts right away because they tend to do school pictures that first couple days. That's right. And then they look really newly shorn. So maybe hold off on that unless they look really scraggly after summer. Yeah, or just do it kind of, you know, mid-August and hope for the best. I yeah, guess. Do, it, yeah. <laughs> do it earlier. Yes. Okay, so there's haircuts. What about school supplies? What should we be doing now or later? I would wait on that. Um, get the absolute essentials or on the supply list, but if you wait until September, um, the sales tend to be a bit better. Plus, for, for clothing and things, children need to know what their peers are wearing. So you may outfit them now and then discover in September that it's different footwear and then you're shelling out twice. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to work out, right? I yes. remember not being a very easy child on my poor mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but most of all, remember, um, we, we're only three quarters of the way through summer, so enjoy the last two, three weeks, spend some time, family time, playing games and doing some outings together, because it's really precious. Is there a particular grade that's the more hard that you find that you see students going into, that they're really transitioning? The big one, so heading into grade one from kindergarten, because there's grade one is more... Um, book work, seat work, so a little more expectations there. Grade 7, grade 10 are both transitions, or middle school, so grade 5 are transition years. So, so the big transition ones. In new kids, new ways of moving around the hallways, new teachers, new schools. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Judy. And you can get more information at professionalparenting.ca.